Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an immunotherapy update because as of today I'm officially two months on immunotherapy. If you don't know what immunotherapy is or why I'm doing it, check out my previous video about that and that will be linked in the description. So as I said in my previous video, it usually takes about six months for people to see positive effects. So since I'm only two months in, I haven't had any positive effects so far. So this video is mostly going to be about side effects. So I have a list of the side effects from my doctor here. The main one that I listed was a reaction at the site of the injection. So on your arm right here. But for some reason, I've never experienced that. I've never had any sort of reaction on my skin from getting the shots. The first side effect that I experienced the day after my shot was that my throat was really sore. I'm not completely sure if my sore throat was caused by the shots or not, but I usually do wake up with a sore throat the day after my shot. I don't know if it's from the shots or if it's just a coincidence, but that's something that I experience pretty much every time that I get a shot. To go along with that, I've also had a really dry mouth and I've also been really, really thirsty. The day after I got my first shot, I drank pretty much an entire water bottle this big before I even got to work. So that's about 30 ounces in two hours which is a lot of water, but that's not really a bad thing. I don't think that water is bad for you. And I always bring a water bottle with me everywhere I go, so it's not really that big of a problem. But if you're starting immunotherapy soon, I would suggest bringing a water bottle with you everywhere that you go because you might get really, really thirsty. And I think that's mostly just caused by the dry mouth. And the next side effect that I'm gonna talk about, which is an increase in allergy symptoms. I found that the slightest amount of pollen or grass in the air can really make my allergies terrible. I don't feel like I've been sneezing all that much more than usual, and my congestion has only been a little bit worse. But my have been really really itchy so I've been using these eye drops that my doctor prescribed and they've been helping a lot I have no idea how to pronounce the generic name of this but the brand name is Optivare and you can probably get a prescription for it from your doctor so, or you can just get some other prescription eye drops or over-the-counter eye drops the last side effect that I want to talk about is probably the worst side effect and that is my hands my fingers have been really red and swollen and I keep getting these little sores on them I got some steroid cream prescribed from my doctor and it does help but if I just put it on and don't put on band-aids or anything over it then it just washes off so I pretty much have to put Put this on and have band-aids on 24 7 if i want my hands to look normal and i've honestly not really been bothering that much with this recently but i should probably get back to using this because it did really help so i think that's pretty much everything that i wanted to say in this video i've just really been experiencing a lot of side effects but i am looking forward to hopefully getting cured of my allergies through immunotherapy and that's why i'm doing it so hopefully everything works out for me in the future thank you all so much for watching this video if you have any other questions feel free to comment them down below I'll also put all the information about the clinic that i go to and the doctor that i go to down in the description as well i hope you all have an amazing rest of your Day. If you're also on immunotherapy, let me know how it's going for you down below. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.